so much for joining us here at 530. A Kentucky man is the first patient in the world to receive a trial of one form of cancer therapy. After going back into remission every year, now there's no trace of his disease. In a WCPO 9 News exclusive, I talked to him, his wife, and his doctor about his recovery. Well, I was either in the bathroom sick or in my bed sick. John Hornsby Sr. says this type of pain was normal for what he thought was a hernia, but his wife Tamison thought otherwise. I said, John, that's not right. After seeing a doctor... They told us it was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We cried for three days yeah, when I found out I had <laughs> cancer, and I told her, I said, that's, that's enough. John went through chemotherapy and went into remission. And by the 12th month... It was back with a vengeance. And that pattern continued for close to a decade. What we're doing now with, with John is a quantum leap forward. Until OHC's Dr. Jim Essel stepped in. He had eight different treatment courses over nine years. So the T cells are exhausted. They don't fight cancer as well which is why we thought he would be a perfect candidate for this clinical trial. Dr. Essel and his team at OHC were approached by Caribou Biosciences to participate in a phase one trial for a more targeted approach to treating B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma. It can specifically insert an antibody directed against cancer into these T cells. Then the T cells hone in on cancer cells. They release chemicals that cause the cells to divide bring more T-cells in and ultimately kill the cancer. And in June of last year, he was the first in the world to receive this cutting-edge cancer treatment. It didn't hit me at all until I had my test and it come back that my cancer shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. All my doctors, nurses, they took care of me like a newborn baby. <laughs> and we laugh. It's like a big family here. The only way we make this ground bake breaking improvement is, is you know bold courageous people like john that are willing to take the risk and being the first one ever to get this treatment after just 28 days uh, after that treatment john showed no detectable signs of cancer and he stayed that way since dr essel says soon they'll move on to the next phase of the trial to treat even more people